Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing five engineering disciplines, agricultural and bioresources engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and mechatronics engineering. We will also discuss the nature of these engineering professions, the various disciplines within it, and where these engineers can work. Don't forget to click, like and subscribe to this channel. Agricultural and bioresources engineering is an interdisciplinary field that combines principles of engineering, biology, and agriculture to design and develop innovative solutions for sustainable agriculture, food production, and environmental protection. Within agricultural and bioresources engineering, there are various disciplines, each with its unique focus and skill set. The main disciplines include 1. Agricultural Systems Engineering, focuses on designing and developing agricultural systems that increase productivity and reduce environmental impact. 2. Food Engineering, involves the application of engineering principles to the production, processing, and preservation of food. 3. Natural Resource Engineering, deals with the management and conservation of natural resources such as water, soil, and air. 4. Bioprocessing Engineering, involves the development and optimization of processes for converting biomass into useful products such as biofuels, biochemicals, and bioplastics. Now that we have a better understanding of the various disciplines within agricultural and bioresources engineering, Let's take a look at where agricultural and bioresources engineers can work. Agricultural and bioresources engineers can work in a variety of settings, including 1. Agricultural and food processing industries. Many agricultural and bioresources engineers work in the agricultural and food processing industries, designing and developing innovative solutions to improve efficiency and sustainability. 2. Government agencies. Agricultural and bioresources engineers can work for government agencies at the local, state, or federal level, helping to develop and implement policies related to food production, environmental protection, and natural resource management. 3. Consulting firms Many agricultural and bioresources engineers work for consulting firms, providing specialized services to clients in the private and public sectors. For research and development organizations, agricultural and bioresources engineers can work for research and development organizations, such as universities, research institutes, and biotechnology companies, conducting research and developing new technologies. 5. Nonprofit organizations, agricultural and bioresources engineers can also work for nonprofit organizations that focus on sustainable agriculture environmental conservation and food security in conclusion agricultural and bioresources engineering is an exciting and rapidly evolving field that offers many opportunities for those interested in designing and developing sustainable solutions for agriculture food production and environmental protection with a wide range of disciplines and settings to choose from, agricultural and bioresources engineers can make a significant impact on society and help to create a more sustainable and resilient future. Civil engineering is one of the oldest and most fundamental engineering disciplines. It involves designing, constructing, and maintaining infrastructure that supports modern society. Civil engineers work on a wide range of projects, from roads and bridges to water supply systems and buildings. Within civil engineering, there are various disciplines, each with its unique focus and skill set. The main disciplines include 1. Structural engineering, focuses on the design and analysis of structures, such as buildings, bridges, and towers. 2. Geotechnical engineering, deals with the behavior and properties of earth materials, such as soil, rocks, and groundwater, and how they interact with structures. 3. Transportation Engineering, involves designing and planning transportation systems, such as roads, railways, airports, and ports. 4. Environmental Engineering, focuses on the protection and preservation of the environment, including water and air quality, waste management, and sustainability. 5. Construction Engineering, deals with the management and planning of construction projects, including scheduling, budgeting, and ensuring safety and quality. 
Now that we have a better understanding of the various disciplines within civil engineering, let's take a look at where civil engineers can work. Civil engineers can work in a wide range of settings, including 1. Government agencies, civil engineers can work for federal, state, or local governments, designing and maintaining infrastructure such as roads, water treatment facilities, and public buildings. 2. Consulting firms, many civil engineers work for consulting firms, providing specialized services to clients in the private and public sectors. 3. Construction companies, civil engineers can work for construction companies, overseeing the planning, design, and construction of various projects. 4. Nonprofit organizations, civil engineers can work for nonprofit organizations that focus on providing infrastructure services to communities in need, such as building schools and hospitals in developing countries. 5. Academia, civil engineers can also work as professors or researchers at universities, conducting research and teaching the next generation of engineers. In conclusion, civil engineering is a dynamic and diverse profession that offers many opportunities for those interested in designing and constructing infrastructure. With a wide range of disciplines and settings to choose from, civil engineers can make a significant impact on society and improve the quality of life for people around the world. Electrical and electronics engineering is a broad field that involves the study, design, and development of electrical and electronic systems. These systems are used in a wide range of industries, from power generation and distribution to telecommunications, computer hardware and software, and consumer electronics. Within electrical and electronics engineering, there are various disciplines, each with its unique focus and skill set. The main disciplines include 1. Power engineering, focuses on the generation, transmission and distribution of electrical power. 2. Control engineering, involves the design and development of systems that regulate and control various processes. 3. Electronics engineering, deals with the design and development of electronic systems and components, such as microprocessors and sensors. 4. Telecommunications engineering, involves the design and development of communication systems, such as wireless networks and fiber optic cables. Now that we have a better understanding of the various disciplines within electrical and electronics engineering, let's take a look at where electrical and electronics engineers can work. Electrical and electronics engineers can work in a variety of settings, including 1. Manufacturing industries, many electrical and electronics engineers work in the manufacturing industry, designing and developing new products and systems. 2. Telecommunications companies, electrical and electronics engineers can work for telecommunications companies, designing and developing communication systems. 3. Power generation and distribution companies, electrical and electronics engineers can work for power generation and distribution companies, designing and maintaining electrical power systems. 4. Research and development organizations, electrical and electronics engineers can work for research and development organizations, such as universities, research institutes, and technology companies, conducting research and developing new technologies. 5. Government agencies, electrical and electronics engineers can work for government agencies, developing and implementing policies related to energy, telecommunications, and technology. In conclusion, electrical and electronics engineering is an exciting and rapidly evolving field that offers many opportunities for those interested in designing and developing new electrical and electronic systems. With a wide range of disciplines and settings to choose from, electrical and electronics engineers can make a significant impact on society and help to shape the future of technology. Mechanical engineering is a broad field that involves the study, design, and development of mechanical systems, ranging from simple mechanical components to complex machinery and systems. Mechanical engineers use their knowledge of mechanics, thermodynamics, and material science to design and develop new products and systems. Within mechanical engineering, there are various disciplines, each with its unique focus and skill set. The main disciplines include 1. Mechanics and Design, 
focuses on the design and development of mechanical systems, including machines, engines, and other mechanical devices. Two Thermal and Fluid Sciences, deals with the study of heat transfer, fluid mechanics, and thermodynamics, and their applications in various fields. 3. Manufacturing Engineering, involves the design and development of manufacturing processes, including machine tools, automation systems, and assembly lines. 4. Materials Science and Engineering, focuses on the study of materials and their properties, and their applications in various mechanical systems. Now that we have a better understanding of the various disciplines within mechanical engineering, let's take a look at where mechanical engineers can work. Mechanical engineers can work in a variety of settings, including 1. Manufacturing Industries Many mechanical engineers work in the manufacturing industry, designing and developing new products and systems. 2. Aerospace Industry Mechanical engineers can work in the aerospace industry, designing and developing aircraft, spacecraft, and related systems. 3. Automotive Industry Mechanical engineers can work in the automotive industry, designing and developing cars, trucks, and other vehicles. 4. Energy Industry Mechanical engineers can work in the energy industry, designing and developing power generation systems, such as turbines and engines. 5. Research and Development Organizations Mechanical engineers can work for research and development organizations, such as universities, research institutes, and technology companies, conducting research and developing new technologies. In conclusion, mechanical engineering is an exciting and versatile field that offers many opportunities for those interested in designing and developing new mechanical systems. With a wide range of disciplines and settings to choose from, Mechanical engineers can make a significant impact on society and help to shape the future of technology. Mechatronics engineering is a multidisciplinary field that combines mechanical, electrical, and software engineering to design and develop advanced systems that incorporate both mechanical and electronic components. Mechatronics engineers use their knowledge of these fields to design and develop intelligent systems that can sense and respond to their environment. Within mechatronics engineering, there are various disciplines, each with its unique focus and skill set. The main disciplines include 1. Mechanical Engineering, focuses on the design and development of mechanical systems, including machines, engines, and other mechanical devices. 2. Electrical Engineering, deals with the study and design of electrical systems, including power generation and distribution, communication systems, and electronic devices. 3. Computer Engineering, involves the study and design of computer hardware and software systems. 4. Control Systems Engineering, focuses on the study and design of control systems that can regulate and manipulate the behavior of systems. Now that we have a better understanding of the various disciplines within mechatronics engineering, let's take a look at where mechatronics engineers can work. Mechatronics engineers can work in a variety of settings, including 1. Robotics Industry Many mechatronics engineers work in the robotics industry, designing and developing advanced robotic systems that can perform a wide range of tasks. 2. Automotive Industry Mechatronics engineers can work in the automotive industry, and control systems. 3. Manufacturing Industries Mechatronics engineers can work in the manufacturing industry, designing and developing intelligent systems that can improve the efficiency and productivity of manufacturing processes. For aerospace industry, mechatronics engineers can work in the aerospace industry, designing and developing advanced aerospace systems that incorporate advanced electronics and control systems. 5. Research and Development Organizations Mechatronics engineers can work for research and development organizations, such as universities, research institutes, and technology companies, conducting research and developing new technologies. In conclusion, mechatronics engineering is an exciting and multidisciplinary field that offers many opportunities for those interested in designing and developing advanced systems that incorporate both mechanical and electronic components. With a wide range of disciplines and settings to choose from, Mechatronics engineers can make a significant impact on society and help to shape the future of technology.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.